What's going on guys? So as you can see here, I've got an OG Xbox One. And it's not just any Xbox One, it's a used Xbox One that I got from GameStop on Black Friday for 99 bucks. And in this video, we're going to be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in an OG Xbox One from GameStop in 2020. Now before we get into this video, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Two weeks from when this video goes up, I'm going to pick one of my Instagram followers to win a three month pass to Xbox Live or PSN. Um, it's your choice, so definitely go follow me on Instagram. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. So as I said, we're going to be putting a foreign disc in this bad boy. Uh, so just a sneak peek at some of the games we got. We got some uh, some Nintendo games, got some PlayStation games, um, got some Xbox, Microsoft games, got a few other random games, and then some surprises behind me. So let's go ahead and start with what we got first. So that's Nintendo games, GameCube, um, and as you're familiar with, GameCube games are real small, and I always get pretty nervous about putting these games in just because they're tiny. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever actually put a GameCube game in one of these slots because I always get nervous about it, but you know, what the heck, let's try it. Um, this is a bold move to try out first. Oh, I don't think it went anywhere. <laughs> it might be stuck, like, I don't know. Oh, that's not good. There it goes. Oh, that was, dude, that was close. I, I don't know if you guys heard it, but the first two times when I pressed this button right here, uh, it made like the clicking noise when there's nothing in the disc. And so I thought it had just disappeared. Let's try that one more time, because that was kind of interesting. Ooh. I think it actually went all the way in. Huh. It did go all the way in that time, but nothing got recognized. That was <laughs> that was a bold move as my first first game to try. Let's go ahead and try Wii Sports and see if that will come up with anything. Of course we got this weird weird case we gotta get it out of. Alright, so Wii Sports, I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite games of all time. It was a classic when it came out. It's still a classic, but I kinda wanna go back and play it now. Um, so, it didn't even try to read the disc, so I don't think anything's happening with that one, unfortunately. Uh, that was, usually at least tries, didn't try at all. Alright, so we got Wii U, Nintendo Land. I don't even know if I've ever actually played this game, maybe like once. But, uh, yeah, it's probably a good game. Anything with Nintendo in the name is usually pretty good. It sounds like it's, it is spinning now. That's, that's a good sign. It's doing something. Games and apps. It doesn't even show me like an error message or anything. That's the worst. When consoles just leave me hanging right that. I really hate when they do that. Alright, well, Nintendo games are no luck. But the GameCube game is actually pretty interesting. I'm glad that that one came back out, fortunately. Or else this, <laughs> this video probably would have been cut short. Uh, let's see. So we got NFL Blitz 2000. I haven't played this game in a long time. It's a solid game. NFL Blitz games were some of the best games, especially if you go play them in the arcade. Ooh, okay. All right, so we got a... It's taking me to the Microsoft Store. And... And that's about it. Still trying to load. Ooh, Groove Music. Okay. I guess so, sure. Um, so maybe it's gonna play me some music. I got a feeling, I think this has happened a couple times in PS1 games, where I put it in and it just goes to the audio track. Alright, so here we are. It finished installing. Let's go ahead and launch it and see if it's going to play me some tunes. And it's got this weird setup screen where it's a bunch of hands, like, flying all over the place. It honestly kind of scared me at first when this screen popped up. It looks like a horror film or something with all these hands flying around. And, of course, nothing to show here. How nice. Took me through all of that. And there's nothing. All right, so it kind of tricks me a little bit, it makes me think I can play some songs, but I can't. I'm sure this. I'm sure this uh, game had a nice soundtrack too. Those old games always had good soundtracks. All right, so PS2 game, Need for Speed Underground 2. This was an awesome game back in the day. What was this like? 2002 or 2003? Um, 2004. All right. Uh, Jack the disc. All right, can we focus, please? Eject the disc and then try again. Make sure you use an Xbox One music CD or movie or Blu-ray. Okay, well, I do I do applaud you for notifying me that it's not an Xbox One game. I'll I'll accept that. You get a you get a C on your test. All right, Call of Duty Ghosts. Probably gonna do the same thing. Or actually, this is a Blu-ray disc, so it might 
it's probably going to try to read it and then it's going to never do anything which is what it likes to do sometimes unfortunately i don't know why my camera is not focusing very well today here we go come on and what i tell and what i tell you guys it's uh yeah, it's trying to load it, but it's just not gonna. It's just gonna be never ending. So it thinks it can play a Blu-ray disc, but it's not an Xbox Blu-ray disc. So it's like half confused. Um, yeah, it thinks it thinks it can play it, but it's never gonna give me an error message because it is a Blu-ray. At least I'm assuming that's a process. I really have no idea. Um, so now we got Spider-Man, which is empty. Wow. All right, guys. So I went and grabbed another game. Guess we'll just have to settle for the PlayStation VR demo disc, unfortunately. Put it in there, and I'm gonna assume or guess that it's probably gonna do the same thing as the PS3 game, where it, it thinks it's a Blu-ray disc, so it can it thinks it can load it, um, but it never actually does anything. Yep, you can hear it loading too. It's like spinning the disc. It thinks it's an Xbox One Blu-ray, but uh, never actually reads anything. All right, so next up we got our Xbox games. First we got the Simpsons Road Rage. Pretty sweet game. This game is this game is ridiculous. It's kind of like kind of like GTA GTA, but uh, Simpson style. You just run around and or you drive around and run people over. Uh, kind of fun, kind of crazy. Game is not playable here. For a list of Xbox 360 games, so it's not a 360 game. It's just a regular Xbox game. So I guess this is not a compatible game, which sucks because this is a, this is a fun game. And it's super annoying to have to pull out your old. OG Xbox, but I guess it is what it is. I'm hoping that the Xbox Scarlet or, you know, Xbox 2, whatever they call it in the future, I hope it is fully backwards compatible. I know they said it's backwards compatible, but I hope you can play everything on it. All right, so Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and this is a game I got from GameStop when I bought a 360 from GameStop a few weeks ago, and I just remembered that they put an Indiana Jones manual in here for some reason. I don't know why. Modern Warfare 2. Now this is one of those classic games. I got a feeling that they probably made it compatible on here. At least I hope so. If they didn't, they failed. There it is. Oh yes, it works. Nice. Heck yeah. It's only 7.5 gigs. That's pretty funny considering all the games nowadays are like 75. So there we go guys. Success. We can play Modern Warfare 2. I wonder if the servers are still online. I highly doubt it, but that'd be kind of funny if they were online. All right, so let's go ahead and eject it. We'll install it. I'll probably install that later, actually, and play it some. I was never very good at Call of Duty games, but that was a fun game. All right, so we got NBA 2K20 for the Xbox One. Now, I really hope this game works, because if it doesn't, my Xbox One is broken. Because, obviously, an Xbox One game should probably play on an Xbox One. But you never know nowadays. All right, so... It's taking long enough. Took about as long as that 360 game did. All right, so it's already installed for 2.5%. Now this one's gonna take forever to install because it's like, I don't know, 7,500 gigs, something like that probably. So let's see, it's installing. Yeah, I kinda just wanna see how large it is now. What is that? What am I looking at? Holy crap, that's, I'll pass on that. I don't know what kind of gibberish I just looked at. Uh, but let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so now we got the interesting ones. Got Hidden and Dangerous for the Sega Dreamcast. This one usually lets me play the music track. We'll see what it does on the Xbox One. I'm assuming Groove Music is going to try to pop up. And, yep, there it goes. Oh, crap. Ooh. Luckily, my volume was not too high up. Um, but that was... I hope it didn't damage my speakers or something. It was like some crazy static. Uh, let's try the next track. I think Warning. this. This disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. Yeah, that's the one I've heard before. And that first one, just I don't know what that was. It was like my punishment for trying to play a Sega Dreamcast game on something other than a Sega Dreamcast. Holy crap, that was that was ridiculous. All right, so next up, we got a PC game, like a Racers. I feel like I've tried playing a PC game before on the Xbox One. In fact, I know I have, and I'm pretty sure it was disappointing because it, it led me on. Oh, nope, it just, never mind. It just immediately said no. All right, well, 
I guess I'll accept that. I do appreciate when you tell me no. It's like somebody le leads you on and then eventually denies you. It's like when you have a job interview and you interview like eight times and then finally on the ninth try, they just reject you. It's like, why did I waste my first eight times? Um, but okay, so we got an HD DVD and I actually got my HD DVD player over here. Now this thing was originally meant for the 360, the Xbox 360, um, but I'm gonna try to plug it into the Xbox One and see if it'll do something. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, so I had to plug in power and I had to plug in a USB cable from the uh, HD DVD player to the Xbox One. And now we still don't have power. That's odd. All right, so I figured out my power supply was not plugged in all the way. So let's try that again and see if it has power now. Okay, well, I guess that didn't fix it. That really sucks. To be honest, I thought this thing would eject even if it wasn't plugged in through a 360. I thought just because it had power, it would eject. Uh, but now I'm kind of concerned that this thing is just completely broken. All right, so as you can see, I've got a 4K movie here now. Aquaman. So I believe in here we have a Blu-ray as well as a 4K. So we're going to try both out. Uh, 4K, I don't think you can play 4Ks. Oh, hold on. My HD DVD player just booted up. What the heck? Whoa. All right, we'll, we'll try that in a second. That was really weird. Um, so we got a 4K disc in there now. I think you can play 4Ks on Xbox One S and X. On the original one, I don't think you could. I guess not, because it's not doing anything. But we should be able to play Blu-rays on here. In fact, it even told me on the screen earlier that I could play Blu-rays. So, you know, I would assume I could play a Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Let's see. Funny, because that disc is actually blue. Makes an extra Blu-ray. All right, so give it a couple seconds, and there it goes. So now it's going to make me download the Blu-ray player and open it up. All right, so I'll go ahead and trust you that it'll work. So let's go ahead and inject the Blu-ray disc and I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the HD DVD player and see if it'll work nice so it ejects now I can actually try out my HD DVD all right so HD DVD here I come all right so that thing sounds like it's reading now the real question is will it transmit anything to the Xbox one I have my doubts but you never know so, I'm not seeing any life. No signs of life. Guess not. Well, I don't know why it took so long to turn on, but at least it's turning on and I can eject a disc now. Yay. All right, and last but not least, in honor of the new Animal Crossing coming out in a couple months, we got Animal Crossing New Leaf. And we're gonna see if we can stick this thing in the disc slot. It does. Oh, it almost fits. It actually, if I really jammed it in there, I think I could get it all the way in. Oh, it's trying to take it in. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take it. It's got to have some really strong motors to bring that in. Well, we tried. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. Again, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Two weeks from when this video is released, I'm going to be picking one follower from my Instagram to win either a three month Xbox Live gift card or a three month PSN gift card. It'll be your choice. Um, just make sure to go follow me. And thanks for watching guys, have a great day.